Ah, good morning to you. Well, I never did know how to begin videos. Um, yeah. What is this video? Dunno. It felt like turning the camera on. Brilliant start. Ah, yeah, that's it. Where have I been? Again and again. Pretty sure the last two videos I did were Where have I been? I'm gonna do more videos. Well this is probably gonna be the same. Um where have I been? Um I've been doing other stuff, I've been doing life stuff, I've been doing stuff that doesn't involve YouTube because I'm lazy and I just cannot be bothered to do anything. Although recently I felt the urge to do some YouTube videos as you've probably seen, so I've uploaded them, but I I I I do intend to do more and I've got an idea for more videos and I've I've started filming them but I'll I'll get to that in a bit. First, um wanted to point out 360 collection again. I'm no longer collecting for this system. I'm getting a lot of views on my 360 overview video and if you happen to have seen that and then come straight to this video, I don't collect for the system anymore. I am selling the games one by one and I'm going to do something which I haven't done before in my videos and that's share my 360 game tag with you. I didn't share it with you before in the past because I thought I would get buttloads of messages all the time but I'm getting buttloads of messages all the time anyway somehow people are finding out my gamer tag so fuck it I might as well give it you anyway don't just send me random friend requests I won't accept them if you message me try put some substance to a message a question anything don't just put hello it's nothing more irritating than that but yeah uh, my game tag is twits funeral it's probably somewhere at the bottom of the screen in some really shit clip out text because my video editing, editing is poor and I'm using Windows what is it Windows Movie Maker yeah to edit my video so yeah that's how piss poor my editing is that's a different story yeah game tags there for everyone who keeps asking game score is like 133,000 or something um, not a lot considering there was 430 something games I can't remember clearly I'm sure it was like 431 or something I don't know either way game score was piss poor considering the amount of games but um, rather than collecting them I'm trying to get into playing them now I've been playing title by title and getting through them getting through to the end ignoring achievements ignoring other difficulties just going through the story putting it on the shelf if I don't like it I've been flogging it or if I don't think I'm going to play it again I've been flogging it and the ones I have enjoyed I'm keeping and I intend on having a collection of games which I do like and will play again instead of having a massive collection of tripe that just no one has got the time in the world to play um, Phil should go over why I've stopped collecting again and money and stuff aside it's just it's, it was just taking over it's, it's too much there you may think it it's appealing to have I can't bloody get my words out clearly having a collection on this scale isn't good I don't like it I thought I wanted a full collection on the current system but I don't it just got so large, it started to overtake, and it's just not nice. I don't like it. It's looming, it takes up too much room, it takes up too much time. It's just horrible. Don't like it at all. It doesn't mean I've stopped gaming, it doesn't mean I've stopped collecting, it just means I don't want a full set. I just want some games I like. I think my, my Dreamcast selection of games is, is perfect for me. I just want a handful of games I like to play and enjoy. I mean, that I'll show you the size of my my Dreamcast so. without dropping them that's all the Dreamcast games I own I'd quite like to get my 360 collection down to that scale really maybe 50 games or so because there's more there's a bigger library but um, yeah that kind of scale they're just that's a set of games that I enjoy there's fighters there's racers there's pick up and play titles I just want games I can play. I mean, I definitely think Ninja Bear Hug has got the, uh, the best idea at the moment and getting rid of all of his disc based games and just going for cartridge based games. I completely understand where he's coming from there. Um, I won't do that. There's too many disc based games I enjoy. But 
I'm definitely swaying towards cartridge gaming these days. I think I've completely lost track of what I'm talking about or what even this video is about. I don't even know what this video is about, I'm just blabbering. Yeah, so pick up and play titles, um, that is definitely something right up my alley at the moment. I can never be bothered to sit down and play a game at the moment. And something I can just dive straight in, have 10 minutes of fun and then put away is something that appeals to me more than anything right now. That is the, the mood I'm in and they're the kind of games I want to play. So I'm, I'm keeping hold of games like that like beat em ups I'm keeping hold of all my beat em ups because they're just the ultimate pick up and play um, I'm actually doing a video series on beat em ups soon I'm going to try and do a month's worth of beat em ups meaning I'm going to play arcade mode from start to finish on a different game every day and upload it every day so it's going to be like 30 videos of beat em ups but I figure I've, I've probably got around 30 beat em ups to do that with Right, yeah, so I think the initial point is that I'm scaling down my 360 collection. New set of videos coming soon on beat em ups, and um, yeah, the rest of the collection, like PS1 games and GameCube and the original Xbox and PlayStation 2, and I'll ignore Mega Drive and stuff for the moment. I want to scale those down big time as well. I, mean, I don't have a lot of games for those systems anyway, probably 100 on each, but I want to scale those down to like 10, 20 minimum just games I'm going to play again I'm, I'm sick of it so if, if there's enough demand for it I'll make a list of what I'm keeping and then compile a list of everything I want to sell or trade and well put them on YouTube but that could be a very long video but yes more videos coming up um, I haven't started doing them yet but I want to and I, I think I might start doing them today is a series on uh, guides and art books. I say guides because usually they have a section at the back which has concept art and stuff and I'd quite like to show them off because a lot of people don't get their hands on guides and I think some of the art is, is worth showing off. I mean for example a very dusty book because it's been sat on the shelf for a while. I've got all of the, the Gears of War limited edition sets and all those came with a an art and design book and I just think it would be good to kind of show this kind of thing off and I've got loads of these with various limited editions I'm pretty sure that has one in it and like Blaze Blue and Fun Fantasy and other stuff so yeah you can look forward to videos like that soon or you know not to watch my channel anymore because stuff like that's going to be popping up whether you like it or not but yeah, back to gaming. God, I'm bouncing about, fucking bouncy ball at the moment. I've completely lost sight of what I originally intended to do with this video, but sod it, let's just fucking wing it and say whatever I've got to say, and I've done with, um, yeah, gaming. I've, I've been doing fuck all of it recently, if I'm honest, other than your yeah, pick up and play titles. We've got Street Fighter Anniversary Collection running in the background there. Love my beat em ups at the moment, but I am only playing like 10, 20 minutes of them at a time, and. I don't think I've played a proper game in about a month now. The last game I played was Game of Thrones. A lot of people gave this game a stick. Don't know why I'm showing you that, but I absolutely adored it. I adore the series, and if you adore the series, I recommend you play it for the story alone. Gameplay aside, play it for the story. Moors and Alistair are incredible characters, they don't appear in the books and they don't appear in the series. If you want more backstory and insight on the world and Westeros, play that damn game. Ignore some of the voice acting because it is terrible, ignore the graphics, ignore the gameplay, ignore the glitches, just play it for the story. It is really good, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I played, well, I used to say files, but I, I played through it and then I watched all the alternative endings as well and it's just brilliant brilliant characters it's almost sad that Moores didn't make it into the series because he's fantastic I love that character a lot of depth to him um, but yeah because of Game of Thrones it's actually completely destroyed my appetite for gaming at the moment um, series 2 came out on Blu-ray and DVD a while back since I got that watched that in like a matter of two days 
uh, went straight onto the game, and then like a month or so later, season three started airing on TV, and I'm watching that at the moment. Episode six tonight. Can't fucking wait. Um, and yeah, I've been reading the Game of Thrones books. We're talking to the floor again, and not the camera. Yeah, I've started reading the Game of Thrones books, and what? That far into it, the first one at the moment. My missus is in the middle of the second one, so I'm taking this slowly until she's finished the second one, so I can go on to it freely. But yeah, Game of Thrones is so good that it's completely killed my appetite for anything else, because nothing compares to it at the moment. It's sad, but fucking true. Right, yes, back to trades and stuff again. Um, I'm getting countless requests for what stuff have you got for, for trade or sale, and as I said earlier, I'm going to have a shit ton of stuff for sale and trades, but um, I'm going to have to compile this and actually going to have to hold tight, but for the moment I, I have had a, a selection of really, really shit doubles that I've had sat on my shelf for the longest time and they're not doing anything, and well, someone might want them. So the game's about to show, um, you can buy off me if you like, I doubt you'd want to, but I'm after some cartridge based games. Um, if you've got any loose SNES doubles, it'd be great to get hold of those. That's if anybody wants these. Um, they're all a bit rough around the edges, but for the most part they're good games. There's not many of them, I'll just go in and show what I've got for trades. First being Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 1. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's a crack in the front cover, and it doesn't have a manual. But both discs. are in pretty good condition and it works it, it does work and it's a good game next we have a Platinum Tekken 2 on Playstation 1 um, it's, it's got light scratches on the case and stuff and there's a bit of a sticker mark but you can get that off if you care enough I don't clearly um, is this complete? I can't remember yeah complete with manual and disc is in okay condition. Nothing at the back there. And lastly for the PlayStation 1 trades we have a really batty copy of a Platinum Final Fantasy 7. It does have stickers on the case but you can get those off. Um, there's some scratches on it, again, would probably clean up. I think the inserts and stuff are fucked. Yep, yeah, as you can see, that some of the clips and stuff have come out, and the discs have got scratches to glow. But you know what? They all work. I have actually tested every single disc. And it has the manual as well. And also, Final Fantasy VIII demo. So, yeah. So another PlayStation 1 game up for trades. Right, one SNES game, loose car, Donkey Kong Country. Works perfectly. Double, so I'm trading it, all of these doubles. Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation 2. Complete. Disc's a bit scratched. Manual's a bit dented. I don't know, it's nothing that drastic. But yeah, another good game. Nothing rare here, just stuff I've got doubles of. Resident Evil 4. Case has got a few scratches and sticker marks and stuff on it, but you can probably get all that off. Complete. The disc is a bit scratched, but that will clean up. It does work again, I have tried it. Yeah, with the manual, and the manual's in pretty spanking condition. But yeah, Resident Evil 4, PlayStation 2. Original Xbox game in a black case, no manual. Juice X, Invisible War. No manual, black case. Good game though. Disc scratch, again, does work. You see why these are in my trade pile. Alright, we have a very sun damaged. Of Pikmin. 
very sun damage from the side, as you can see it's blue, it's supposed to be green. But um, no manual, that's probably been redeemed, I haven't tried it, feel free to you get it. Um, disc, well they're indestructible, it's got the odd scratch on it, but again it works. Pikmin, GameCube. And lastly we have the Mindfuck, which is a, a GameCube case with Mario Kart Double Dash insert with no manual, no disc, and a disc to Super Mario Sunshine. So if you want either of those, well. So that's that's the, the pile of dung that I have for trades there. If any of that does interest you, feel free to drop me a line. And again, I'm after loose carts, mainly snares. We'll go for Master System or Mega Driver. Why not? But yeah, I believe that's all I've got to got to say at the moment. Plus my my ass is raw because I'm just on a fucking kitchen kitchen. I'm sat on the kitchen because I'm on a dining room table at seat at the moment because I'm over half to rob my fucking normal seat. But yeah, arse is sore, run out of shit to say, jibber jabbered long enough. Cheers guys, enjoy.